Hey guys, today I wanted to uh, do an update and just let everybody know I'm okay and been a little busy. I uh, did some traveling um, last week and I'm back to town. I'm doing laundry today. It's one of my least favorite. <laughs> it's laundry day, you know what I mean? So I'm at, right now I'm at the laundromat getting some stuff taken care of uh, so I can have clean clothes. But you know, that's, uh, that's part of life right now. Uh, just staying prepared, staying um you know, staying motivated, staying prayed up, staying healthy as you can, um, and you're relying on God for, for everything that you do. He's uh, the reason why you wake up in the morning, why you breathe the next breath, why you have the next heartbeat. Uh, if you don't realize that, it's time to start to focus on that and know that that is how you have your being and why you have your being, is to worship God in a daily in a daily manner to where those that are around you see and acknowledge that even through the, th the tough times, the scary times, the unsure times that we live in today, that you stand strong on your faith and that you have not wavered in your beliefs, uh, that you have chosen to follow Jesus today, uh, this day who I will serve as Jesus and everyone has to make that decision. Um, it's a daily decision. It reminds me of, the, I think it was the old Indian chief. He said, uh, the example, he had two dogs fighting within him. And they said, well, which one's winning? He said, the one I feed. So be careful of the, the dog you feed that's within you. You know, we all have that mentality. We can go that direction. Um, and I pray that you have strength to know the difference in the conscience that will... Um, allow you to do the right thing at all times you know um, a lot of times it's, it's what you do when um, integrity is what you do when no one's looking it's those things you do every day those those daily things that you you prepare your life nobody you know nobody's looking uh, you can do those things or not you can prepare yourself you can read scripture every morning to start your day um, you can bless your food, all those little things that, that add up at the end of the day. It, it means time. It means relationship with Jesus. Um, you know, you ask a child, you know, um, how do you spell, how do you spell love? And in their hearts, you know, it's based on time, T-I-M-E. You know, the time you spend with someone relates to the love that you have for that person. When you first meet that girl or that guy or whatever, and you're beginning that new relationship, all you want to do is spend time with them. And that's the way your relationship with Jesus should be every day. Um, that should be your first relationship that you, you um, maintain. And then through that, it allows you to have the power, the knowledge, and the ability to love those around you in a way that's not normal. That's not like the earthly love. Like, earthly love means I love you till I need to get what I need to get. And, um... Heavenly love is, I love you no matter, despite no matter what you do to me, I still love you. And that's how Christ Jesus is for us. And no matter what we did, he still loved us enough to die on the cross, to bear our sins. And today I just ask you to do that, especially in the days that we live in right now. As in the days of Noah, we're in that, in that place and time. Uh, the enemy knows his time is short. As you can see that a lot of men and women have sold out to uh, the dark side in this world and our government and probably 98% of those folks in government that manage and, um, the people have sold out. You know, their love of money uh, is the root of all evil and that is their root of their evil. Usually you follow the money is what they always say, follow the money. So I'll tell you today, just um, follow Jesus. Once you follow Jesus, he takes care of the rest. Now, I don't know exactly how it always works, but I know it works. So, um, even the things the enemy intends for our harm, Jesus will use it into our favor. Um, all the hardship that Job went through, he got it back tenfold from what the enemy took. So that's what I pray for us today, that no matter what the enemy tries to do, we ask Jesus that he keep the enemy out of our camp, uh, and we ask him that we stay strong and keep us close he asked for Paul he says uh, no Peter he said Peter um, 
I pray that you have. I said, Peter, the devil wants to sift you today. So, you know, we have to be aware. The devil's trying to sift us every day, and we want to be able to stand strong on that word um, and not deny Jesus, to receive Jesus, to, to proclaim Jesus, to share Jesus, to walk as Jesus walked, to talk as Jesus talked, to said, imitate Jesus. And Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. So um, today that's what I say let's do. You know, follow me as I follow Christ. Uh, follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Don't follow follow another person in the fact that you know you just don't put all your eggs in one basket uh, on your earthly f stuff. That's the best best way to put it. Um, you know, people fail. People can fail you. Jesus never fails. He's the same today and every day, and uh, he never fails us. So lean on Jesus. It says lean not on your own understanding, but every word from God. So you got to get in the word. You can't just uh, you can't get it by osmosis. You know, you actually have to read it and it's a living word. So for that day, the Holy Spirit will guide you, teach you, give you understanding. Use the word that's for you that day. He'll he'll give you what you need as you make your daily walk. As you take up your cross and walk daily, he will be there with you always. He said, be of good cheer. In this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Jesus has overcome the world. So today, that's who we're going to put our focus on. God bless you. If anything that I can help and pray for, please send it in the comments. Um, it's johnnywhitaker23 at yahoo.com. If you got anything you want to email me. Uh, I have PayPal. Uh, I'm in a ongoing ministry. It's Johnny on the Spot Ministries, and so I try and help folks when I can. I have been boots on the ground. I have been months out in the uh, in the homeless environment with uh, homeless folks, just trying to find out what's the best route to take to help those people. So I have Johnny. I have Johnny Whitaker, PayPal.com. You go to and, and you can send it to Johnny Whitaker23 at Yahoo.com through PayPal. Johnny Whitaker23 at Yahoo.com with PayPal. Thank you again. I appreciate everything that you do. I have a PO box. Um, it's 1413 Highway 17 South, 1413 Highway 17 South, number 356, Surfside Beach, South Carolina, 29575, P.O. Box 356, that's in 1413 Highway 17 South, Surfside Beach, South Carolina, 